Hello and welcome back to Dirty Kitty. Today's video is probably going to sound a bit different because I had to boot into my Windows installation today and that one is for a good reason. I have finally got a head tracker set up, so which means that I can have it track the movement of my head and also the way my head turns, which is going to be useful in doing things like turning to check the sides or maybe doing things around the cockpit in the future. So I'm just going to warn you that the things in this video are going to move around a lot because of course a head tracker will be active tracking my head in several dimensions at once. So um, with that warning out of the way, let's hop into the cockpit to see how things have uh, finally began to feel a little bit more dynamic here. Of course this is a uh, 6 degree of freedom head tracking setup. I can move to the left and open to the right around to manipulate some of the things on this side, peek over my co-pilot. I can pitch my head up, down, left, and right. I can also move in and out, and I can also uh, turn my head around, although I have that disabled at the moment, because that, uh, that is one axis where I don't think it will be very helpful to have magnified. You don't usually use a uh, roll to do things in a plane most of the time. So. With that out of the way, let me check my volume level for a second and go ahead and start this plane out. Of course, now I can duck under here and flick all the switches. If you remember correctly, you do the alternator, battery, first alternator. I guess it's on the word. Okay, something's up. And there goes the engine. So let's go. Uh, so. Let's go ahead and fly, shall we? Right, make sure the is clear. Uh, pull the throttle. Three. Very goes the, uh oh. Yeah, I forgot that you only need to move it a little bit. That turns are like super hard. Is something out of line here? I don't need to do the turn. I think that something might be out of line, so I'm going to reset for a moment. Uh, I think we're looking good. No. Let's go left. Let's go to the water. Usually, when people do head trackers, they have a degree, uh, they have it set up to be even more extreme than I have because they want to see out the side. But now I don't. If that might change. So this one is with AI track and open track. I think that open track also has its own neural net tracker, which uh, works decently well as far as I've tried. Although, things change. I think it's time to turn left again. So, or we'll like we go. Where is the runway? I really need to. In, I really need to get the tra head tracker for somewhere uncomfortable with. That's why you would usually want to be able to see the runway, it allows you to check for something like this. Yeah, I'm getting blown to the right. And I also have, don't have uh, a lot of uh, seat of the pants feeling that you would get as a real pilot this, Which does not help. Sometimes I rely on things staying on the screen, in the same place on the screen. Which is obviously not going to be a case with a head tracker as fun as this. Another uh, feature of open track is that you can dodge pillars like this if you want to see out. Not that it's useful in this particular case because I couldn't see it anyway. And we will see it later. Let's see, can I zoom in and check?
bad idea. But maybe. I think Vera it is, actually. Ah, I think it's our own. I think, uh, alright, we have Visual and we have to go a lot more throttle of Flap 2. No, I uh, final, so flat three time. We're going to adjust the throttle as needed. Let's try this for now and see what happens. We're going to point slightly around. Okay, we're definitely dealing with some amount of crosswind, I think. Okay, I'm actually aiming at the dots right now, so that's why I'm going over the numbers. So, yeah, I guess I need to work on that a little bit more. Alright, I'll refresh all now, so we're just gonna get on the throttle. Work on getting this thing on the runway and flare and knife. If I haven't been ruined the entire thing, I'm potatoing and doing that. I definitely don't know how to do this, so see you and hopefully something that's a little bit more sane next time. And thanks for watching Nota Kitty and have a nice flight.